eleven incomplete twenty twenty is a lesbian movie is all about a kid. She is a home visiting help aide who tries to rebuild her broken life and repairs her damaged relationship with her son Jig. She is assigned a young, beautiful, paraplegic patient named Laura. Bonded by their mutual sufferings, the two women share an undeniable connection and isn't long before they fall deeply in love. But when Kate betrays Laura's trust, she finds her fragile world scattered once again. Kate, a home health nurse assigned to care for Laura with a T11 incomplete spinal cord injury. Laura lives with her overprotective brother Steve, who wants the best for his sister but can't seem to get past his own toxic masculinity. Karen, 10 years slower, lives with her ailing cat and her son Jake, his wife Elizabeth and grandson Brady. With unresolved issues in their past, likely to Kate's alcoholism, Jack tries to keep his son away from his mom as much as possible. Jack has his own issues as we see him cheating on Elizabeth right at the outset and clearly carries around a lot of resignments. I mentioned all these characters since Guji wants to present an assemble of broken people, not just the one in wheelchair, everyone is incomplete. Kate's caring nurse, but her unresolved issues manifest themselves in many ways including the fact that she tends to steal money from her patients. Laura, who still grievances her girlfriend who died in an accident which left her in a state of paralysis, find herself drawn to Kate. Evenly, their connection can't be denied, resulting in fascinating love scene in which the roles of caregiver and the patient appears to switch. Laura has awakened something in Kate, which his lesser hands would feel like a trap drop in lesbian cinema. But Guji is wonderfully subtle filming. Alongside all this, Kate is dealing with the loss of cat she has had for 20 years, the only source of affection for her during the darkest times in her life. She is trying to mend a fractured relationship with her son, if only so that she continue to share a loving bond with her grandson. With list, her son seems perpetually on the verge of screwing up his relationship with his partner, the only character who constantly makes an effort to think of others' needs before her own. It is a film about failure and loss and as such it can at times be quite despiting but there is another message here about redemption and the need for human connection to make that possible.